Okay, Emma, first question. How often do you train a week now versus when you started at CrossFit? Uh, when I start, first started CrossFit, I was probably only training like one, two times a week because I was still racing uh, quad bikes. So now I train obviously five, five full days a week and then two active recovery sessions a week. What are your calories and macros? Um, I don't really tend to count. Um, Eat Naked does all my food and I also work with a nutritional coach, consistency breeds growth and they keep me on track of what I should be eating but don't really count as such. So. Um, did your approach preparation to the Open change with it being so close after the Games? Um, not really. I um, kind of like took like two, three weeks off after the Games just to deload the body and we just kind of just started training again. Um, focus hasn't and isn't really the Open. Obviously I want to be in great shape for Filthy 150, the first sanction event of the year. So that being our main focus, we obviously have to keep uh, on top of running and like all the, all the different aspects that's not really Open re related. What's your thoughts on the latest athletes to have been found positive after testing? Uh, well, like it's, it's great that they're getting caught. I think anyway, um, you know, if no no results came back, you know, you'd be like, oh, are they actually testing? So the fact that obviously someone inside the top 10 got caught, um, it's great to see that CrossFit are clamping down and, and making sure the sport's as clean as possible. So you obviously did pretty well in 20.1 question here. It sounds crazy, but would you consider doing it again? Uh, well, I, I did have to do it again. Um, I did it Friday. Um, I got a, an okay time, then I did it Monday, I got 7.57, but I decided to cut my head out of it. <laughs> uh, so then I had to obviously do it for the third time on Monday afternoon, which got my, my winning score of the 7.41. So, but if I had to go for a fourth time, I'm sure if someone gave me a bit of company, uh, I would definitely go again. Reebok or Nike? Ah, not sponsored by either, so I love Nike pants and I love uh, Reebok. Uh, shoes, so just whatever, whatever fancy. See, how much do you work on your mobility? Um, I do quite a lot. Uh, my coach is uh, Jim Jaisi, who's like basically a movement specialist, um, amongst other things. So yeah, that's that's a big, big part of my day as well. At least probably like forty to sixty minutes a day. With a flatlining workout schedule, what is your guide for optimal recovery and mobility? Um, if you're like talking the elite level, like it's one workout a week, so it's not a lot on the grand, grand scheme of things, but if you're talking for the general public, it's just make sure like once you hit that one workout at full intensity that you know, you're obviously taking control of your recovery, you're having like your shakes or whatever it is you take after post-workouts to make sure you're fueling for obviously the next day if you're a wee bit stiff and tight, you know, it's maybe like schedule an extra rest day maybe. How long have you been doing CrossFit and where did you place in the first Open? Uh, my first Open was in 2014 and I started not really long before that. Um, I think I placed like 6,500 maybe uh, my very first Open. Just to say what an incredible time and great to see Ireland on top. Thank you Emma for your time and look forward to seeing how you get on in the Open. Thank you.